Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley. Today I am going to be showing you how to play a video in a Unity WebGL project. So let's get right into it. So I have got an empty scene. We've got a main camera, a directional light, an empty object called VidPlayer, an empty object called Video Cube, and a backdrop called Backdrop. So let's get right into what we need to do. Firstly, in your Assets folder, right click, click Create, and then Folder, and call it Streaming Assets. The spelling and where you have this folder is very important. So step two is simply dragging and dropping your video file into your Streaming Assets folder. Don't worry, you might be thinking, oh no, there was no option to import for video, or why is the video got a different icon than normal? Don't worry, this is all very normal, because in the Streaming Assets folder, Unity doesn't process or import assets, like with regular assets that aren't located in this one particular folder. Now let's go back to our assets, right click, create C Sharp script. We're going to call it vid player. This script's going to be responsible for playing the video file. Firstly, make sure you import Unity Engine and Unity Engine video. Then do serialized field string video file name. This is going to be the name of the video file that we want to play. Down here, we're going to make a function called public void play video. And then we're going to do video player, video play equals get component video player. So this line of code is just going to get the video player component from the object this script is attached to. Then we've got a few more lines of code. We're going to do if video player. Basically, we're checking if we have a reference to a video player. So let's say we attach this script to an object that doesn't have a video player, then this is going to be false because no video player could be found. Therefore, we're not even going to bother trying to play a video for a video player that doesn't exist. However, if we do get a video player, then we can do string video path equals system.io.path.combine, application.streaming.assets.path, and video file name. This is going to create a file path for the video that we want to play, and it's going to use the streaming assets folder and the file name of the video file that we want to play. And then we're just going to debug log the video path in case something goes wrong to make it a bit easier for you guys to debug if it is an issue with the file path. And then we do videoplayer.url equals video path. We're setting the URL of the video player to be equal to our video path so the video player knows where to play the video. And then we do videoplayer.play. That's going to play the video. We can remove the update function. And for this tutorial, we're going to place play video in the start function so it starts as the program starts. Be sure to save it. Now we're going to drag our vid player onto our vid player object and make sure the file name, video file name, is exactly the same as the file that you put in your streaming assets folder. So for instance, my video was called bigtimevillain.mp4, so I put that in here. Now we're going to add a video player component to our vid player object. So the source is going to become URL. We're going to untick play on awake and wait for first frame. We're going to tick on loop. We'll keep skip on drop the same. Everything else we're going to keep the same for now. The next step is to create a render texture. So in this assets folder, we right click, we go to create, and then we go to render texture. We're going to call this video texture. And we need to change one thing, uh, the dimensions of this texture, change it to whatever you want the video to be. So we're going to do 1280 by 720 to do a 720p video. Now we're going to create two materials. One of these are optional, but let's still do it. So we're going to go to create, then we're going to go to material. We're going to call this backdrop. And we're going to set this to just be black. And then we can go to our backdrop object and we can put in this material. Again, you don't need a backdrop, but I'm going to put one there because why not? Then we want to right click again to create another material. We're going to call it video material. And one thing we need to do here, we need to drag and drop the video texture into the material. Uh, drag it here next to the albedo text. Now let's go to our video cube object. We need to add a mesh filter. And we're going to set this to just be a cube for now. And we need to add a mesh renderer. 
And let's add the video material as the material for the mesh renderer for our video cube object. Now let's go back to our vid player. Notice how there's a empty target texture. Put in the video texture into there by dragging and dropping. Now save your work and hit play. You turned into a big time villain, Doctor. You turned into a big time villain, Doctor. So, as you can see, the video does play. But you might be thinking, Max, how do we know it works on WebGL? Well, I'm going to show you right now. We're going to go to File, we're going to go to Build Settings, we're going to click Build, we're going to make a new video, we're going to call it YouTube Tutorial. We're going to double click on that folder, click Select Folder, and we're going to build it right in front of your eyes. As you can see, it finished building. We're going to go in here, we're going to right click, we're going to open PowerShell window here, we're then going to do pymhttp.server. There's an eye up in the corner if you want to know more about how this works, but we can host a Unity WebGL build locally to test it in a web browser. Now we're going to open Edge. We're then going to do localhost 8000. You turned into a big time villain, Doctor. As you can see, it worked. Just one little disclaimer, a video won't autoplay on WebGL, you do have to click on the game for the video to play. That's just a web browser thing, nothing you can do about that. But anyway, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Unity tutorials.